Hi guys, welcome to our channel Fast Cabling. Now this is the PDZ camera. It is commonly used in a civilian system. It can monitor large areas and zoom in specific point of interest in real time. But sometimes installing one may not be enough, but if you want to install multiple cameras and beyond 328 feet, you need some careful planning and execution to do. Now, because you have to consider about the cable length, the power supply and other essential factors. So today in this video, I'm going to talk through the factors that we need to take in for consideration and also I'm going to show you how to get the system set up. And before we get to the video, please like and subscribe our channel Fast Killing, and make sure you hit the bell icon so you won't miss any of our updates. So here we are in front of the demonstration board and you can see I have the setup ready behind me with two PTZ camera. Now the PTZ camera stands for Pan, Tilt and Zoom. It refers to the camera's ability of moving horizontally pan, vertically tilt and the magnification level of the lens zoom. Now let's see what we need for those big boys. First, let's talk about the power supply. You can choose from the AC adapter or a PoE technology. In my opinion, of course I prefer the PoE technology because all you need is to pull a single Ethernet cable to run the cameras. Now, the PoE can provide both power and data through an Ethernet cable. And if you choose to use AC adapter, you will also need to pull a cable for the data. So why not the PoE technology, right? Now remember I said that I'm going to install the cameras beyond 328 feet. Why 328 feet? Because PoE's limitation distance is 328 feet. And if you want to install cameras beyond that range, you would need an Ethernet extension tool, which is the PoE extender. This is PoE extender. It can provide power and data for an other 328 feet. And it's perfectly stable and safe. But you always have many choices you can choose from. Some people may like to use the fiber optic cable. The fiber optic cable can provide a data distance up to 80 kilometers. If you're driving for 80 kilometers, it will approximately take you an hour. So it's a pretty long way. But you do need to have the power source available at the site. So it really depends on what kind of situation you're in in order to choose which cable that you want. Now, let's do the whole connection from the beginning and I will talk about the details along the way. So let's do the connection together. This is the router which is our main network and it is already connected with the NVR and the monitor for the image later on after we connect it with the PDZ camera. Now, this is the most important part, which is our PoE injector. Since we are using PoE technology, we will need this to inject power through the Ethernet cable. And this is a 90 watts PoE injector. It can provide 90 watts of power into the Edge device. Since our PDZ cameras require a higher power standard. Now let's connect everything together. I'm going to power it up first. And you can see the power lights is already on. We have the data in port and PoE out port. First, we need to connect it with our router using the, PoE, the data in port. Make sure you plug in the right one with the router. Here we go. And for the PoE output, we are going to connect it with our Ethernet cable and connect to our PoE extender. Now, this side is all done. We have a 328 feet cable over here and I'm going to connect it with the PoE extender by simply just plug into the port. This is a 1 in 2 out PoE extender. It can supply up to 2 devices. We can see the lights is on. It's already getting the power and the data. Now we have two PDZ cameras, so I'm just going to plug in the two cables right away. Here we go. Those are the two cables for the two cameras. 
I have another 328 feet here because it's, it can extend for another 328 feet. And just simply connect it to our PDZ camera. That's all we need. See, now it's getting power and the data. And for this one, I'm using a short patch cord, but of course you can use another 328 feet cable if you want. I just simply plug it in and we can see they're all getting power and data. So now let's move on to the monitor and see if we can get the images. Right here we have one and let's wait for another one. Since this is a pan till zoom, we can see I'm zooming it in and out and it's working perfectly fine. All right, so the setup is pretty simple and we are all set here. Here are some factors you need to consider about while installing the PTZ camera. First, make sure you choose the pure copper cable like the Cat5e or Cat6 because copper has superior conductivity compared to other materials. It also has higher bandwidth and faster data transfer rates. Also, it is reliable in PoE power delivery. Second, you need to consider about your power budget and bandwidth because PTZ cameras require higher power budget and bandwidth. So power loss and signal drop will occur over a long distance. That's why we need to use the 90 watt PoE injector with IEEE 802.3 BT standard. And also, our PoE extender can provide up to 1 gigabyte per second for the data. So it can stabilize the signal. And this is what you need to consider about while you're installing your APTZ camera. Now number three, make sure you mount your camera on a stable surface to prevent vibration because it might affect your video's quality. And also, a higher mounting height will have a wider view, when a lower mounting height will have greater detail. Last, make sure you have all your devices outdoor waterproof because the PDZ camera normally we put it outdoor and this is the PoE extender and it is also waterproof it has IP67 waterproof design and also we have to fasten the neck and the gland in order to prevent the water and dust and rain snow anything that go into the cable for the installation, I didn't have this one because for quick installation, when you install your cable using the PoE extender, make sure you use a wrench to fasten up tight so it can have IP67 waterproof and also you can even bury it underground. Now remember that I said you can use fiber optic cable to install PDZ camera. If you want to know more about how to use the fiber optic cable to install PDZ camera in a long range, you can watch the video right here. So today we are all set and done. Thank you so much for listening and I'll see you next time.